guys, Kiki here, and this week in Classic Rock News, Elton John, what an exciting time for him, right? Rocket Man, his biopic, is coming out at the end of May, and he also just announced, hey, you know what? I'm going to release a book. This will be Elton's first autobiography, and he said, Everything will be out on the table. All cards will be lined up. He's not going to hold anything back. There's no title for the book yet. And thinking maybe it'll be out in October-ish of this year. And he also just did his 70th, 70th sold out show at Madison Square Garden. Just an amazing time for Sir Elton. Love, love, love me some Elton John. And Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin, my goodness. So, Jimmy was actually battling with his UK pop star neighbor, Robbie Williams, for the past five years. What happened was Robbie wanted to put in this underground swimming pool in his big, ginormous mansion, along with a gym. But Jimmy said, you know what, no, that's going to hurt my house, so I don't want you to do that. Well, Robbie ended up winning. He's going to be able to do his renovations, but now Jimmy's mad at another neighbor. Now, this neighbor was like running Prudential, okay? So Jimmy said he wants to put in some air conditioning outlets. You got me on that one, and he wants to fix his wall, but I'm guessing this is no regular wall. This is no, like, little tiny wall. This is a big, ginormous wall. So, Mr. Prudential wants to, you know, fix it. Jimmy said, no, I, I just don't like that idea. So now he's mad at him. So Jimmy is just not giving a whole lot of love to anybody. I've used that one before, but I, I ain't got nothing else. So anyway... Lou Graham, my goodness, Lou Graham, everybody loves Lou Graham, I love Lou Graham, everybody loves Lou Graham. Six songs Lou has said that he's had from the 80s that he wrote. Well, finally, these songs are going to get released this year. So, so excited. And three of those songs will be released very, very soon, maybe within the next month or so. Now, just imagine, though, really, I, and again, I've talked about this before, too. Lou wrote these songs in the 80s. So the yumminess and just the, the substance of these songs, they're going to be hits. I mean, it, it, it's a no-brainer right there. So I cannot wait for Lou Graham songs to be released. Stevie Nicks. Finally, we know who's inducting her into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Harry Styles. He's a singer from One Direction. No clue. No clue here who Harry Styles is, but you've got a young pop star inducting the queen of absolutely everything. Whatever works, at least she's got somebody now. We have a name, and the induction ceremony for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame will be on March 29th. And I love talking about Steve Boy Jerry. I mean, you know, summer's coming, and he's all over the place, and it just is what it is. Now, Steve Boy Jerry, he was the lead singer Journey for a wicked long time. He just announced he's going to be appearing with, I can't even believe it, because now, like, I call him my Bretty, Brett Michaels. He's everybody's Bretty, but he really is my Bretty. I don't know anyone else that calls him Bretty. Well, Steve O'Jerry and Brett Michaels will be performing together at CannaFest, right, in Vancouver, Canada in August. I cannot believe that. And Vince Neil's going to be there. A whole bunch of great acts are going to be there. Of course, I'll link it wherever it goes up, down. I don't know. So again, Steve R. Jerry, Brett Michaels, very, very cool. And, you know, speaking on the Steve level here, and I know I keep going back to Steve Perry, but I just want to know what is going on on with Steve Perry. Now, Steve Perry, it just came out that Dan Rather, The Big Interview, that's a show that he did on Axis TV that's coming back on April 16th. And who is on the first episode of The Big Interview? It's Steve Perry. Oh my gosh. So here's my thought though. Steve Perry, let's face it, he did a ton of press when he released his album Traces back in October, right? So I'm kind of thinking that's when Steve Perry did this interview. I don't think this is a recent thing. I could be completely wrong, but Steve Perry's nowhere. Go and Google Steve Perry. The most recent thing about Steve Perry as of today is that Neil Schoen says, you know what, I'm just going to give up on this whole reunion thing with Steve Perry because he's obviously not interested. And I don't want to bug the guy. You know, Neil's being pretty cool about it. But I really want to know, where the heck is Steve Perry? I just, 
I need to know, I think we all collectively need to know where Steve Perry is. Is he okay? Is he happy? Is he not happy? I, I don't know. You release an album and then you just go bye bye. I need to know where Steve Perry is. So again, you know, and this is a thing. If you know where Steve Perry, just let me know where Steve Perry is. Okay, anyway, so that that was this week in classic rock news in a nutshell. Now, I've got my Tony Lewis interview coming out. That's going to be also on my channel somewhere. Tony Lewis, he was the lead singer of The Outfield. Super nice guy. He's got a new album coming out, and I gotta tell you, I'm playing it constantly. Here and now, that's my song. That's my new Tony Lewis song. Very catchy very brainwashing. It's so, so good. And it, it's got that outfield flavor to it. So again, you can listen to that interview on my channel. And guys, you know what? Thanks for hanging out for a couple of minutes here. Thanks for stopping by. You guys have an awesome day, an awesome night, an awesome weekend, an awesome absolutely everything. And always remember, most importantly, to keep rocking.